This video is sponsored by Vero. Hello everyone. What a glorious morning here. I've been here before. Uh, maybe you haven't watched this video yet, uh, but this is near Salesopolis. And I'm here today to test some new filters that KNF Concept has provided me. So they sent me a kit of um, magnetic filters and also a circular graduated neutral density filter, which it's screw on into the lens. So I woke up really early today and uh, I'm here just before the sunrise fighting some mosquitoes again. Uh, sorry, I had to get in the car because there are so many mosquitoes out there. Um, it has rained quite a lot lately and this place here is really good because it has a reflection. It has a, it's, a, it's like a lake. This place has completely changed from the last time I've been here. Um, from this video which you can watch here. I'm just waiting for some light to, to hit the mountains. Tell you what, that wasn't really a good idea to come here because it's uh, the water level is so high that I can't reach the border here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll head back and I'll stay on the higher ground so I can try and shoot uh, some photos in a higher level so I can get a better reflection from the lake. There's so many mosquitoes, so many mosquitoes. I had to get back to the car. Uh, I would try to go uh, further down the road uh, because the compositions here are simply not working from even from a uh, higher ground um, it's the, the reflection is just not I, I can I can really <laughs> I'm struggling to to find a composition here so I think I'll go further down the road and I'll try um, a different uh, direction uh, because there were, uh, because there are some clouds now and um, I'm probably gonna try something different. Okay, so things were not working out with the reflection on the lake. So instead of doing a reflection, uh, I'm going to work on some mist that is surrounding some mountains and there's also some clouds above it. Oh, by the way, this video is sponsored by Vero. Vero is a social network that is focused more on quality than quantity. It is a great community of creatives in photography, video, music, arts, and many others. There's no boats, no algorithms, it's ad-free, and one of the best things I like about it is the ability to post a photo in any format that you want. You can even post 16x9 and 9x16. You can zoom in and see it full screen. At Vero, there's no noise at all. No random reels, stuff I don't want to see, only what I choose to see. I absolutely love the fact that the feed is in chronological order 
and you don't have, don't have to worry about missing a post from your follower. If you quit the app, it picks up back to where we were. You can even watch a YouTube video without having to leave the app. You can also post music you're listening to, books that are you reading or that you recommend, links to your portfolio or website, apps and even games. It is available for both Android and iOS systems and I also love to use it on my desktop. Yes, there's even a desktop app for both Windows and Mac OS. If you don't follow me in Vero yet, I'll leave a link here in the description of this video. Okay, so first I'm going to try these uh, magnetic filters. So this is a new set KNF Concept has sent me. They, um, in this kit we have 10 stops and the ND1000. Uh, we have uh, ND8 and D64. So we have a three, uh, six and 10 stop ND filters, circular magnetic filters. And we also have this one, the graduated circular filter. I have screwed here the adapter, the magnetic adapter. And now, uh, what I, one thing I like about this kit is, is because it's so light. I mean, you can carry it in your pouch or in your pocket or in your belt and it, it doesn't weight. So it's uh, really light to carry. Uh, and it's very practical because you can simply put it's really easy to use. So first, um, I'm using a full frame camera and a 70 to 40 millimeter lens. I'm focusing on the landscape. First, I'm going to do a photo without any filter. Okay, next, I'm going to use the graduated neutral density filter. One thing about this filter is you can't really uh, you can't really change where you want the, the graduated line because it's fixed. You can't move it like this. You can only uh, move with your camera. So the filter cannot move independently uh, from your lens or camera. So to do that, you need um, a graduated filter, a square graduated filter or a rectangular graduated filter. So that would work better because you have this flexibility to choose where you want the graduated. If you haven't seen yet my video about magnetic filters uh, review that I made, uh, you can check on the link here. Now I'm going to put on a 10 stop and D filter in front. I will also run some other tests with the 3 and 6 stop filter. Okay, so I tried all the magnetic filters. Now I'm going to unscrew uh, the magnetic adapter and I'm going to screw on the graduated ND filter. It is a beautiful storage for a filter, isn't it? This is the, uh, the Screw One Nano X Series soft graduated filter, as you can see here. So you just screw one, it depends on the uh, filter size of your lens. For my lens, this is the 77, 77 millimeters. So I just screw on, and after you screw on, you have this you can rotate it, so you can get the graduated uh, level in different positions. And now, let's do a photo with this filter screwed on. What I really like about these filters is, for example, when you go on a trip, when you have to travel long distance walking, for example, when you're trekking or up in a hill, 
it's really good to have uh, lightweight equipment so uh, this fits really well because it's not bulky it's small uh, they even improved this from the previous version for all of those filters uh, tested there was no color cast at all now different from the previous version i think that those filters the the thickness of the filters uh, if you're using a wide angle lens for example on a full frame a 16 millimeters or a 17 millimeters it you might get some vignetting on the corners uh, if you stack too much filters for example if you stack uh, two filters you won't notice but if you stack a third filter uh, then you start to noticing some uh, vignetting if you're shooting from 24 millimeters um, above uh, then this won't be an issue KNF I think that you might want to reduce the thickness so that uh, for wide angle lens you can stack more filters this is one thing to keep in mind the other thing is uh, this kit here has four filters but there's one uh, very important filter missing which is the uh, circular polarizer I don't know why there's no circular polarizer on this new kit that would make a perfect kit because it would have the circular polarizer and the 864 and the 1000 and ND graduated instead of buying separately KNF could provide a um, full set of filters so if you are interested in either the uh, magnetic filter kit or the screw one graduated ND filter I'll leave a link here in the description of this video another thing I want to mention and emphasize is that any of these filters tested they have exactly the advertised density so I think I will change uh, from wide angle to telephoto now and look for those intimate details on the landscape I would like to thank you KNF Concept for sending me these filters to test and would like to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you on the next video.